Yeah, well, look, we knew coming into the game, Bidco are not a rollover by any means. They've only lost one game this season, and that continues. Um, they've had a reasonably tight defense. And, yeah, look, we also played them in preseason, and that was sort of a tie as well. Each team sort of won one half. So we knew it was going to be really tight today. Um, full credit to them. You know, they covered in well. They played on the counterattack well. You know, I think, you know, Taking a point in a game like this is okay. We obviously come in looking for all three points all the time, but I've said this before many times that some days you just, when you wake up in the morning, it doesn't all quite click. And on those days, look, you still try and do some of the simple things. And we had a few chances, but the biggest thing is when you're not maybe at full capacity, make sure you don't lose the game. I'm not really sure, like it wasn't, like we weren't looking at the Shabana game whatsoever, it was about energy, you know, we know, and look, this is a thing that you see throughout Kenyan football, is that when there are big results and emotional highs, sometimes it's difficult for the players to maintain that higher level, you know, you saw it even at international level when Harambe Stars obviously had a fantastic result against Qatar, and then a few days later it's almost like a different team playing against South Sudan, and, and we've seen that in the past as well, we've obviously come off two really good results against AFC and Tuskegee, and we just felt we needed injection of energy and actually in Paul Achuga and Roger Zuma coming into the starting lineup I thought both of them did very well I don't I think Roger Zuma can feel a little bit disappointed to be subbed out of the game but just because we you know you've got to change things in a balanced way and that was the only way to get one or two players into the game if anything the regret is we didn't maybe change two or three more um, I, I do think that like that's not to say the guys have been training well but you just know after those emotional highs, maintaining it. If, if guys were able to maintain it every week, they'd be playing, you know, in England and Spain and Germany. That's the difference between levels sometimes. And so, yeah, I don't think it was a cohesion thing. If anything, coming into the game, we didn't want to change too much. But in hindsight, it's a wonderful thing, isn't it? You know, I think maybe we probably would have changed a couple more to give us that extra because we were a bit flat and we needed more energy in it. And, and so... You know, in hindsight, we might uh, we might have changed a couple more. Yeah, look, it's not, and you've got to take your chances when they present them. We had a couple there. Obviously, you know, Benson's had a great chance that's been sort of gifted to us a little bit. We had one, I think they cleared it off the line from a corner kick. Equally, we've cleared one off the line from a corner of theirs. So it is just, you sort of felt the game could go either way off a set piece today. And, you know, keeping that clean sheet was important. But look. The longer you go and pick up points, you don't win every game of the season. You know, that's the nature of it. You know, last year we had, what, 20 wins and 10 draws. And so, you know, you've just got to keep picking up points. And like we said, only one team this season has managed to beat Bidco. And, yeah, we'll reflect on this towards the end of the season and think it's a, it's a positive enough point. But overall, the performance, it needs to come up a bit more. I thought he did well. Um, obviously, 4-4-2 isn't our most natural shape, um, but I thought he did well. He won some good balls in the air. You know, it's unlucky. He had that one that he shot wide at the near post. Um, if he catches those, Chris has a great shot on them, so you don't... Yeah, it goes, it goes wide, and some people might think, oh, can you pass that? But knowing how good he is at shooting when he has those few yards of space, you, you fully want him to take that shot on. But I thought he combined well. Look, we created some stuff. I think we probably created more in the last 20 minutes than we did in the rest of the game so the shift in formation and having him up there to partner Benson you know created a little bit more but still you know our just our ball possession wasn't good enough today at times it looked like we were playing with a rugby ball out there some of our passing so yeah we, we need to pick up for Shibana uh, we're gonna have to have a look at it obviously when you see someone pulling up as sharply as that and he was in a reasonable amount of pain so it's not been a good day for that because obviously uh, pa Patrick Sibomanas is maybe a smaller thing he sort of just felt you could see him when he whipped across in earlier he sort of felt a little tweak in his back so it wasn't like his his groin or his hamstring or anything but he just felt it and felt he couldn't strike through the ball so we felt it was better to bring him off Rogers yeah looks like a hamstring um, we'll have that assessed you know the swelling will go down we'll have that ass assessed and we just you know send the boy our best wishes but yeah hopefully it won't be too long but we don't know yet I think he's very close I think he's now you know he's in um, he's in contention now um, he's been working hard on his fitness and training and he's in contention but look what we wanted here was competition. Um, Kevin's kept three clean sheets. You know, he's pulled off a big save there towards the end today, tipping that one over the crossbar. So the nature of being a Gormaya goalkeeper is you don't have a lot of saves to make, but those one or two moments, you've got to pull out the big save. And what you've seen from Kevin in the last few weeks is 
he's fitting into that mold of a Kogalo goalkeeper in the sense that he's pulling out the big save when it's needed. Gad does that as well. So let's see. We've got a few games this week. We'll see who's who's in the lineup on Wednesday.